Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. It's very early. Uh, we always do this to ourselves. Our flight wasn't originally going to be until like nine o'clock or something. They changed it. It's at seven now, so it's torturous. It's it's too early, I think. But what are you going to do? Um, they changed it, and that's that's the reality. So we're going on our way to Orlando, Walt Disney World, trip number three. Yes. Right, there's the Santa Monica Pier. The big wheel is lit up as we make our way on to the 10 McClure Tunnel. You know this used to be a train tunnel originally. Before there was a PCH. All right, pulling up to LAX to Delta Terminal 2 where we got to check a bag and we got to get on a crazy shuttle. Better to uh, check our bag inside. There was a line outside, so it should be way quicker. Bag drop. So I can tell you that <laughs> it's a little more crowded at the airport than the last time we uh, traveled. It's progressively getting back to normal because of the crowds. Like, there hasn't been a line at TSA from the last couple of trips we went on, but this one, there's like full blown, full blown line situation, but it's moving. All right, we stopped at Breeze. Uh, you can pre-order and pick up uh, bagels and coffee and whatnot. We're set. Because otherwise you're looking at a Starbucks line that is pretty ridiculous. I mean, look at Jersey Mike's. Even Jersey Mike's is packed. And it's like not even, not even 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Although I would eat one of those right now. All right, we got to go get this shuttle now. Hopefully there's not too big of a line for it. I forget where it is. All right, we passed the International Shuttle Terminal. It looks like, is this the line right here? Oh no. Oh no, that was the, that's the Starbucks line that we just saw. That scared me. Woo! Gate 21 is where the International Terminal Shuttle exists. Just past TSA, right here. Oh good, it's not like that one time. One time we came here and this line was giant. We're tarmac tripping. Here we go. Get a good view of the plane. It's pretty awesome. We are rocking the best view. Still kind of a ghost town in here. But at least, it, I don't know why it feels a little more lived in this time. It does, I don't know what I it think is. there's new carpet, it smells like new carpet. I don't know about that. <laughs> I just think it feels like, last time it was so dark. I don't think there was scary. lights on last time, yeah. Yeah, now it feels like alive. Yeah. A little bit. It's alive. It's alive. Oh, it's this, it's this lonely little gate. <laughs> We can wait on the other side if you want. Oh, that's good stuff. I wish it was piping hot though. It's just a little lukewarm because of the travel time, but I'll take it. At this point, I will take it. All right, it's 6.06. Our flight board's in 15 minutes, I think 6.20. Yeah, that's what they said. And our flight leaves at seven. Yes. Seven sharp. Oh, I'm so not ready to sit on a plane for five hours. Are you wearing a Taco Bell shirt? Oh, you are. I am, but uh, 
course it got very wrinkled. You know what's cool though, since I lost weight, I just wanna say this is pretty cool. When I originally bought this, it was like, it was loose, but it wasn't this loose. Like now- Now you're swimming in it. Now it's a night shirt. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. I mean, again- That's good for the plane though. You want comfortable That's for why the plane. I did it. If I could just be in my jam jams the whole day. You know a jam, you know a- Jam jam. Jam. Well, I'm just not ready to sit on the, the plane for five hours. <laughs> All right, looking out onto the old tarmac. Pretty much the same area we were last time. This international delta zone here. Construction still, still happening over there. Big old cranes. Very overcast today. Last time we had a nice sunrise, but we're not getting that this time. But I imagine we'll punch through those clouds, be up above it in a matter of no time. All right, we are... Um, <laughs> We're already delayed, so this is fun. Yeah, it's really odd. It was supposed to board at 6.20, and it's now 6.50. Um, they said our flight's really full, and... Uh, but we knew that. They knew that. Yeah, but something about, like, they wanted a lot of people to, like, check baggage. Yeah, they're doing gate checks for bags, but it's like, we have comfort class with guaranteed spots for our... This is why we pay for the extra. Right. Like, we will splurge for that. I mean, not only that, but you need the leg room. You're like yeah. six, what, something. One, but still. It's, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. So, yeah, we're off to a good start. <laughs> Where are we? All right, it's 7.07. We're boarding, finally. Woo Yay. We're just letting first class on right now. Thanks. Yep. All right, here we go. Yep. Woo! Which way? This way, I guess. Smoking is permitted in designated areas only. Please refrain from smoking while walking throughout the building. <laughs> for the uh, guaranteed luggage spot. It's, uh, it's honestly... Especially on a full flight because they were trying to get people to, to bag check or gate check, I think they call that. And there's our view of the tarmac as a uh, truck goes by. A lot of trucks. It's like the 405 out there. All right, we're uh, sanitizing with the wipe that they handed us on the plane. Remember yeah, a my, little extra. Remember my first flight when I was so like nervous and scared? I mean, I'm still a little nervous. But yeah. It was so bad that I couldn't even uh, do this. You had to do it all. Oh yeah. Go a little wet down. I'm noticing our uh, our plane has some Boba Fett battle damage. Things taking a beating. Should we be concerned? I don't know. You know what sucks though is we didn't get a double window. Because like, uh, the row in front of us has double window. Yeah. Well. I like to look out the window during takeoff a little bit. Go ahead and request everyone to be seated with your seatbelt fastened at this time. With your mask over your nose and mouth and all electronics in the airplane mode. Flight attendants, please prepare the doors for departure and cross check. Katie, prepare for a cross check. Uh, all right. Just check. Cross check. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I trust they do. That's their job. Uh, we just have to uh, sit back and relax. We're uh, going to be cruising at about 35,000 feet. Uh, Weather in Orlando is uh, uh, 72 degrees, partly cloudy. Uh, I think he almost just said it. Uh, and I think. Uh, they said we're going to try to make up for lost time. <laughs> See how fast I, these engines can go. It's funny though when they say that because I, th I think to myself, well, wouldn't you just want to go the fastest always to get to your. I mean, maybe you don't want to be too early, but it's almost like, why wouldn't you want to get there as quick as possible? I don't know. Well, here's what I worry about. I worry that we yeah. won't be able to just like get straight in and land. Like there won't be runway and we'll have to circle Oh, the because there's an order uh, of things. That's what freaks me out. Got it. Like I have issue with that. Issue? So, wow, she's already got issues. Uh, it used to be fear of flying. That's gone. Now no, the issue no, is- No, it's not gone. You're so stupid. 750, we're pulling away from the gate, and uh, yeah, there we go. This is a very dark plane. <coughs> this, is Katie. this is Katie trying to lean out my window the entire time because she can't see. Usually we have like Two. a couple of windows, but now she's 
going to be smashing against me to try to see out this window the whole time. The whole time. And you may be saying, but Spence, let Katie sit by the window. No, he, I don't want to sit by the window. <laughs> but she wants to be able to see at her uh -huh. discretion. Yep. A lot of construction going on. Look at that. All right, we're following this guy's lead. He's got his uh, dual lightsabers, Ahsoka Tana style. That's how you do it right there. All right, there's the old control tower. We are on our way to, uh, I think we're like third in line, maybe. Almost there. I'm so nervous. Hi, I'm Spencer. Nice to meet you. And I'm nervous. Yeah. It's a very strict plane. This is a very strict plane. <laughs> Sometimes you make the turn and they don't even stop and then they just punch it. That's the first flight we ever did, remember? It yeah. It's like, and you're... I like when they do that. Cheers. 
was really good. Texas, approaching uh, Midland, kind of almost in the middle of uh, the state, two hours and 40 left, making our way across. All right, we're beginning our descent to the beautiful shores of Florida. Look at that, look at the water. Kind of got an aqua tint where the sand is coming off of uh, that little island and that little area down there. Look at the it's like white sands. It's amazing. There's even that bridge. I don't know if you guys can see that bridge that goes way across that bay. We are almost to MCO. Almost there. Look at that water, Katie. What? Look at the water. Oh, Florida is so beautiful. Right? Oh! marine tropicalness. That's kind of what I like about Florida is that it's tropical, you know? Yeah. It's like we're not going to Hawaii or anything, but I still feel like we get to like live our best tropical life. Yeah, that's amazing. And how it kind of streaks off, off the edge because it's the shallows, clearly. Usually it's sand that creates that, that aqua look. Wow, that's amazing. Look at that bridge. Cloud shadows, look at that, I love that. The little puffy clouds have little shadows. So that was St. Petersburg, Tampa that we were just flying over and you can see Shout out to Tampa J. Tampa J, our homie, uh, you can see MCO right there. We're on the approach, Katie. We are, you can feel us descending. We're about 25 minutes. This is my favorite part. And you know what? I want to real quickly say I'm very proud of myself because this flight was the easiest. I was gonna say that. I was literally just gonna say you did I wasn't really nervous. No, you did really good. You were prepared. Yeah. Uh, right. Even when you were doing your uh, drawing, yeah. you're very calm. Yeah, it really did uh, help. So you're you're progressing. You're each time. I'm getting there. You get a little bit better. Yeah. So, so it, it helps. But I'm telling you, landing it is my favorite. I I dream about it. You know how you go on attractions at Disneyland? Yeah, yeah. Landing in an airplane for me, that's what that's the thrill of it. It is the best thing in the world. I love it so much. Like right now, I just when he went to the restroom, he came back and my face was on the the what do you call it? The window like she was I in my know. seat. I was, yeah. All of a sudden she's on the window, miss. I don't want to be in the window seat. It was all the, on the, the window. landing is the best. And we're back in Orlando. I love it. I love it. It's like a second. So you like Orlanding? I love Orlanding, yes, a lot. All right, we pulled up to the gate. Time to go. All right. Good job, Katie. Yay! Welcome to MCO. You can seriously feel the humidity. Oh, yeah. 
a busy, busy scene at MCO today. Look at this. Alright, I always say this when we get to this little rail. It's the first attraction of the trip to the rail. Oh, there's one coming in on the other side. On this side? Yep. Alright, we got a little, little back seat action in the first car. <laughs> bag katie's giant suitcase she brings well it's for both a lot of stuff no it's all you it's all you i'm gonna no, blame you uh, I... weighs like 400 pounds it and has, uh like, your hats all your stuff oh it's got my hat that's it no, it, has a, it has food and stuff for all of us oh boy oh i remember this part the hotel oh, it's where the uh, christmas tree was the very first time we came here i chose the right elevator get it you chose the right one. You chose the left. <laughs> I love the advertisements when you get to baggage claim. Less sleepy, more thrilly. Magic Kingdom. The mine train. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and look at this big screen. There's Mickey and Minnie. The Disney store is literally right there. So it's kind of cool to get this greeting. Oh, yes, yes. Batu East represent. Yeah, we'll just stay here. This yeah, we'll is just great stay here. Us. See if we get Beast again. Oh, oh there he is. My buddy. Well, oh yeah, here's Katie. The Beauty and the Beast. Thank you, Katie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, and Animal Kingdom. Oh yeah. Is that our friend? No, it's not her. Uh, but there's the safari. Oh, I look forward to that. Or look, it's like the, the Mumpus from DCA. Almost, right? Walt Disney World. Discover the magic. Awesome. All right, Katie's very excited because she's wanted to see this art piece, which is so lifelike. Yeah, it's a, a, a bronze sculpture from Dwayne Hansen from 1985. He I looks, mean, that stash. Yeah, he looks 85. He's got that polo shirt on. He's got that puma look little at him, satchel. Though. He's burned out. He's been traveling. He's got a sweet mustache. Headed back to Toronto. Yeah, Toronto or Toronto? Did I say Toronto? Yeah. No, I didn't. You really? Did. You did. Toronto. But there he is. Wow. The, old, the old traveler. I've wanted to see this in person for a long he's, time. He's been waiting for his flight for a long time. Since, wait, how, since how long? 85? Since 1985. You know what's cool though is they took the carpet from MCO. Oh, yeah. And put it, you know. Same carpet. I thought it was a real dude. It's like, wake I up, bro. Everybody thinks it's real. I mean, look at that. He's got scabs on his knees, his veins. Like, it's he's so lifelike. I think his name is Dwayne. He looks like a Dwayne to me. That was the artist's name, it says. Oh. Well, there you go. He looks like a Dwayne to me. I don't know why. All right, we got the rental car. We uh, have successfully navigated coast to coast. Woo! Uh, it's humid. But we expected that. It's not bad though. It feels but great. I was gonna say it um, feels good. I it like does. it. And uh, now the only uh, the next mission is to get to our Airbnb. Yeah, we're gonna stay there for the first half of the trip. That's right. And then more surprises along the way. Oh, but yeah. uh, glad you could make it with us on the journey. Katie did really good. Thank you. Um, and uh, please yeah. make sure to subscribe though, so that you don't miss out on this epic trip and oh, yeah. more to come. Yeah. And if you enjoyed watching this video, you can let us know by giving this video a thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up the video, and uh, we'll see you guys next time from Florida on Best Life and Beyond. Bye bye, everybody. Hey.